Maps from the old well permitting office showed several wells had been drilled at and around the site over the years. Many of the older well coordinates had not been verified with GPS equipment. As a result, the records for many of the well locations were not precise. Surveys were conducted using a lightweight magnetometer and a heavy lift drone. The magnetometer records 200 magnetic readings per second, along with the corresponding GPS coordinates. The drone has a payload capacity of 13 pounds and can easily transport the magnetometer. To survey along straight lines at a steady height, flight plans were created using Google Earth and drone flight control software. Multiple flight plans were used for the site with parallel survey paths set at 10-foot spacings. The data was collected at heights of 20 to 70 feet above the ground, depending on how high the trees were in the survey areas. The flight speed was approximately 20 miles per hour, so with a logging rate of 200 times per second, the magnetic readings were collected every two inches. The magnetometer data was imported into a worksheet to prepare it for importing into SURFER and GIS mapping software. The recorded data included the latitude and longitude to more than six decimal points, along with the total magnetic field as well as the individual magnetic readings in the X, Y, and Z directions in nanoteslas. After processing, the data was imported into SURFER to view individual survey results and into GIS software to prepare magnetic maps for the well locations. The interpolated data shown on the SURFER plot was acquired at a height of approximately 60 feet above the ground. The buried well is located at the center of the red zone on the plot. Although the measured magnetic field strength had decreased at a height of 60 feet above the ground, the relative differences in the readings were adequate to make maps and locate the wells in the field. Using the basic settings, Surfer seems to create more visually appealing plots of the magnetic data than the GIS software does. The GIS inverse distance weighted point to raster tool was used to interpolate the magnetic data and prepare maps for the entire site. The GIS map shows a small red circle showing a single well location based on the permitting office records along with the actual locations of two wells shown in the red zones as detected by the magnetometer. The variations between the permit office records and the actual locations occurred because the geographic coordinates for the permits were likely extrapolated from small-scale paper maps. This picture shows the above-ground portion of one of the abandoned wells at the site, surrounded by brush and trees that was identified during the survey. Although most abandoned wells have the casings cut below the top of the ground, some are simply abandoned in place. Thanks for watching.